An application designed for multiple platforms requires code that's adaptive. For example, UIs need to be able to respond to the screen size on which they're presented. Input mechanisms vary as well, from hardware and software keyboards to mouse clicks to finger taps. And even if you get that right, there's still a bunch of other details like desktop menus, selectable text on the web, different navigation paradigms, and more. Because Flutter is built to be a multi-platform SDK, it's designed to handle some of these problems automatically and to give developers the tools they need to handle the rest. Let's take a look at a few, starting with responsive UI. For layouts that alter their composition based on screen size, the Media Query widget can provide a build method with the info it needs to compose the right widgets, to do things like adapt navigation controls when window size changes. Built into Flutter's material widgets is the concept of visual density. Based on which platform an app is running on, widgets will automatically shrink or grow, so desktop users can click, and mobile users can tap with their fingers. Designers who want more control can also query the current platform and set visual density manually. This paradigm of automatic but overridable adaptations is used in other places. For example, a list view like this one will customize its scrolling physics automatically, bouncing on iOS and macOS, and using a material glow on Android. But you still have the option to set the physics manually. Flutter's widget composition can help with these idiomatic details as well. For example, one difference between the web and other platforms is that most text is selectable by default. Developers can choose to abide by that convention and make a widget that encapsulates the decision. Here, the code checks the current platform and either builds a text widget or a selectable text widget. Now the app can build that widget wherever text is needed and get custom adaptive behavior throughout the code base. To learn more about these techniques and the other ways Flutter can help you build for multiple platforms, check out the links below.